Hello, this is Eleanor Wyatt, president of the Benji Cooperative, coming to you from Uganda. Uh, many of you know that we had a family marriage and parenting conference this week in the town of Uganda. We gathered there starting on Monday morning and finished up Thursday uh, midday. And I had uh, ended up having over a hundred adults who were there, many of them uh, pastors and elders in their congregations. We had 19 different congregations represented from around Uganda. We spent the week looking at a foundation of using scripture as our guideline uh, to establish what needs to, what a family, what a righteous man, what a righteous woman, what a righteous marriage needs to look like to reflect God's culture not Ugandan culture or American culture. We challenged a lot of the typical um, traditions that are so prevalent here, even among people who claim to be uh, Christians and followers of the Lord. And we challenged to uh, get rid of those things that don't match up with God's word, because we see that holiness with God is incompatible with the traditions of men that contradict God's instructions. And uh, the, we finished the week with a challenge. The, the married couples, it was so neat to see them. They were dancing together, and um, several of them told me that they had already had major impacts on their relationships just in this week. And at the end, we took a time of, of renewing some vows of, of dedication to the Lord of men, what are you going to do? Women, what are you going to do? And then they looked to one another as husband and wife and also uh, spoke uh, words of commitment. And then we have equipped the saints, so we have sent them on their way. In Habakkuk 2.2, it says, write down uh, the, the vision on tablets that it may be plainly explained so that those who read it can run with it. So our prayer is that the people who have seen this have it written down, they've had it explained plainly, and now that they can take it back to their villages and run with it. I want to thank you, those of you who have been praying for this week. It was, it was powerful. It was sweet. It was so wonderful to see the impact of the Lord's presence among us. And so I came back to Jinja Thursday evening, which for me was yesterday evening. And um, I am in the Peace of Israel ministry house. A portion of it's been completed. It's going to be my um, apartment uh, quarters for the next two and a half months. Uh, it's still pretty sparsely um accessorized. <laughs> this room is pretty much e uh, empty. It's going to be the living room, so we're still working on getting furniture. But I do have a bed. I have a refrigerator that works. We're working on getting the hot water heater and the stove going. So uh, for those of you who have followed the side thing, I've been in Uganda now over, over two weeks, and I've only had one hot shower since then. So that's I've managed, but uh, as a spoiled American, I really like having some warm water to bathe with. But we'll see. It's it's there's worse things that could that could happen. So thank you, especially for those who've been praying this past week because the Lord did many wonderful things. Those of you who sent money for Bibles, we distributed Bibles to several of the leaders of the congregations to take back. Uh, some some congregations, there's only one Bible or two Bibles in the congregation. So we sent home with them like six or ten Bibles so they would have more. And uh, we still have more Bibles to distribute in the villages where we minister. So please continue to pray and let's see what the Lord does. Um, I would ask you on the Facebook page, we've mentioned a little boy named Joseph. He's eight years old. He needs hernia surgery. He has a scrotal hernia and it's uh, causing constant pain. Um, we still need about $1,400 to cover that surgery, um, and it needs to be done as soon as possible. If the Lord speaks to you about that, um, in the uh, description below, there's ways to connect with us to donate and such, 
And in the meantime, keep praying. There's another young man I'll tell you about in another video named Brian who needs knee surgery. And it's, uh, it's going to be a major surgery. But we're praying that the Father will make provision for that so this young man can be healed and help his widowed mother uh, provide for the family. So in the meantime, thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for your prayers. You can follow us on Facebook, The Benji Ministries, uh, Ugandan Journey is the Facebook page. Our website is thebenji.com. We do not update that as much as we do the Facebook page. We're also on MeWe, and uh, I think that's the other main one. And I thank you so much for, for your prayers, for your continued support. And join us as we see what the Lord has to do and what the Lord has for us to do in Uganda. Amen.